Hello everybody. Welcome to this session. The uh, objective of this session is to understand how to create an inbound delivery with respect to a purchase order. Okay, for that let us create a purchase order first and then we will see how to create an inbound delivery with respect to the purchase order. Uh, to create the purchase order, the path is logistics, material management, purchasing, purchase order, create and ME21N. So let me pick up all the details fastly. Purchase org company, then material. Uh, let me pick up one quantity material group plant, storage location, and then press enter. So we have uh, missed on the purchasing group. Okay, let us pick that up also. Now the most important thing that we need to understand is the confirmation. Now let me go at the item level first. Here you can see there is a tab called confirmation. Now click on this. This is very very important. If you have a confirmation control key then only you can create an inbound delivery else you would not be able to create an inbound delivery. Basically, the purpose of an inbound delivery delivery is that you get an acknowledgement of the material recipient in advance. That means, I mean, you know, you understand that when you are going to receive your shipments. So, shipping notification is something what is mandatory. Uh, now, here, um, just pick up. There are a lot many options. You can say rough GR confirmation, inbound delivery, confirmations delivered. So, I would go with shipping notification, and I will just save my purchase order now save okay so the purchase order is created you can see here it is five two triple zero one zero one zero eight this is our purchase order number okay um now what i'm gonna do is let's go to the main screen once again and see how to create an inbound delivery so Okay, now let's uh, see how to create the inbound delivery. Uh, for that, the path is logistics. Then we'll go into execution. Then we'll go into inbound process. Then we'll go into goods receipt for inbound delivery and then inbound delivery and then create. So you can see here, um, we have an option like single document or collective processing of the purchase orders. So basically, in uh, typically in any organization, they use background job to create the inbound deliveries with respect to the uh, purchase orders collectively. So uh, they would be using the background jobs. Uh, but here, uh, the purpose is to show that how uh, inbound delivery is created with respect to an, uh, with respect to purchase order. That's why we would be using the single document as VL31N. The transaction code is VL31N. Either you can use VL31N in the uh, command screen, or you can straight away double click on this. So we will be going on to the main screen of creation of the inbound delivery. Now you can see it has picked up my purchase order automatically. But ideally here you have to give the vendor and here you have to give the purchase order number. All right. And just say press enter. Uh, if at all you do not have your purchase order number and uh, you don't remember, you can always go for a quick search for your purchase order number. You can see here it will uh, bring to your purchasing documents uh, source screen. It is a report basically. So here you can, uh, based on different parameters, you can always check. Now for uh, how to use this report uh, in detail, you can check out my other videos. So let's go back and uh, we are going to enter now. Okay, so this purchasing document is not yet released. All right, so let's immediately go to ME29N and uh, let me release it quickly so I'm just releasing it 108 is the document number all right okay so it's released now I'm just saving it save so it's released now and now we can create a inbound delivery for this so let me press enter now why is it saying typically not yet released um M A twenty nine and let me see. Yep, it's released. Yeah, it's released. You can see here 
okay now data changed i'm coming out of it and then let's go back and then again double click on this and now now you can see it's letting us go in uh you know the biggest problem with sap is that it always have the memory in the cache so you need to refresh your time so you can see this is typically your inbound delivery creation screen now the number range everything will be picked up automatically so if you want to give any of the data you can always do that if in case you would like to have a batch split if in case you're maintaining the batches for this you can always click on the batch split and you can create a batch split but i'm not going to do that for that we have upcoming videos so uh, you can always look into it um, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to save this that's it so i'm going to save this that's it nothing else because the entire data it has already picked up from the purchase order now you can see here the shipping notification number has been created now basically this is your inbound delivery now let's go in and see how to make changes to it vl32n i'm just entering in uh, because i want to see that entire data is right or not so you can check on shipment uh, yep everything is fine this is your header basically go inside uh, so here you will have a lot of other options so uh, you can check everything you know like your processing your text dates parcel partner administration everything uh, basically um, here a lot many things are there uh, so who created that well, everything all the details you can check out you can see here shipping notification CD process uh, delivery notification so delivery or shipping notification is a must now uh, delivery type this is very very important delivery type is EL for inbound delivery so here you can see shipping notification right all right that's all about how to create a uh, inbound delivery with respect to a purchase order i hope you enjoyed the session please do uh, watch the upcoming sessions where i would be talking about how to create a transfer order with respect to an inbound delivery and the most important point uh, how to do a migo and the goods receipt with respect to an inbound delivery because when it comes to an inbound delivery the typically when you're talking about a purchase order and inbound delivery the goods receipt process changes you know in uh, inbound delivery first you receive the material and then you post uh, the goods receipt and uh, typically in purchase order you post the goods receipt first and then you uh, receive the materials so there's a lot many uh, changes so anyways please do uh, keep on watching uh, please do subscribe to our channel for uh, watching more videos and uh, please do um, uh, leave the comments if in case you'd like to uh, check on the feedback we would be highly appreciating your feedback thank you so much for watching the video